Okay, hello everybody, check this out. We are here at the museum exhibit, waited months, survived the pandemic, and we're here. And the first thing they talk about is the indigenous people who lived in the area and asking them these two questions. I love it. Here's a little map showing the indigenous of the area, also known as Tovangar, the land of the uh, Tongva tribe. And we go right in. Here is the seal. Looks nice. As you enter, there are these posters, almost like an embassy, if you can see that. Uh, just a table with some information and a couple posters. This appears very embassy-like. Let's take a look. It's basically grab bags. Take a look at... Uh, if you can buy certain items. This is also a sign you'll see. And this is a screen printing location for more printing. And then this is the official exhibit. There's t-shirts for sale, charts of the shirts, and something on the environment here in the area. Then there's the front door. You come up and boom, free Republic of California, a dream. This is what it opens up to. Coming around, comes into a second room here. It's a series of artwork. This is interesting. This is a pseudo legal document to make it appear as though California uh, was recognized as a nation by the United Nations. Here's another pseudo legal document to make it as though California was independent. With signatories A little step back, there's the total exhibit on the wall. A little exhibit on how big California is. This is the one that's featured in the website. So it is a look back into California in the 1960s. And what you can see is they put certain uh, dated artifacts in there. I think that's a California mineral rock old magazine, and then the time of uh, showing the technology of that era with the Golden State era. More photos. There's another pseudo-legal document on another wall, so you can't escape that. Another pseudo-legal document. With the artist. Ah, the famous painting of California as a separate country going back to the 1600s. A little bit of artwork. Here's a map showing California as a separate nation. It's another pseudo legal document. Another pseudo-legal document, a poem about California independence, and then a reason why we should become independent. This is America.
and that's in here. It's not framed, it's just like, here's an example of America, and the very next thing is a poem about leaving California, and then the very next thing is a pseudo-legal document. Let me expand out so you can see the whole thing. And then there's going into the third room. Here we go. And I'll show you the expanse. It's kind of a living art thing. There's a mural, California sunset, piece of wood. Ah, the entire constitution of the Calif uh, California, the new republic. So starting off with another legal document, boom. Page two, page three, and the flag created by Mr. Sternberg. By the way, uh, we asked the people if we could film, and they said as long as you're not a mainstream media company and you're independent for your friends, you can do this, which we are. So. the exhibit. I'm making you guys look good. Yeah. You're going to look great. That's the important. That's what we want to be here. <laughs> so I am here right now. You just saw a review of the exhibit, all the artwork all created by Cole Sternberg, a Californian. I think he's from the Bay Area, also lives in Santa Barbara, also not married a fellow Californian. And then they, he built this exhibit. Now this exhibit was gonna come out, I think about two months before the election. We didn't know who was gonna win. And by the way, the election was pretty tight. I understand Biden won, but Biden won by 3%, okay? That's not a repudiation of Trump if you barely win over half the country. You pull out California vote, Biden only won by about 1.5% of the majority of the country. So outside of California, about 49% of America wasn't that offended by Donald Trump. So it could have gone the other way. Let's get that straight. If coronavirus wasn't here, very different story. Fortunately, it didn't. But I was just talking to people up front who were running this. I, I asked if I could interview Mr. Sternberg. They said he's not here, but he loves the attention to the exhibit. Um, and he's a believer in a true Californian, and he spent two years working on this. I mean, the dedication. That means you don't, don't. Okay. Oh, thanks. <laughs>